all right guys welcome back to my channel In today's video i just want to do a quick kind of introduction into how to use hydra if you're not familiar with hydra it's used to brute force websites and ssh as well as like ftp service so anybody familiar with k linux any kind of ethical hacking is probably familiar with hydra so i'm just going to jump right into this we're going to be using try hack me today they have a good machine setup that you can use to run hydra against so this is going to be the login page that we're going to be hacking into and we'll jump over here to try hack me <clears throat> just kind of a little explanation what hydra is like i said it's a brute force online password cracking program uh you can run this in kelly Linux, which is the common place but you can also run it on like ubuntu if you're just running doing that install anything debian based if you want to do that you can do apt install hydra as you see here in a terminal <clears throat> that will install hydra for you or we'll one jump down to the room here so just a suggestion if you get a chance check out try hack me i <clears throat> suggest so going there it's really good start your hacking career kind of cybersecurity oriented or basic windows or linux you can learn a lot from try hack me and i think uh i'm a fan i think it's around 14 dollars a month for a membership which is an amazing deal to be able to log in and use their machines to hack against and not get in any kind of trouble uh, like i was saying you can see you can use ssh for or hydra against ssh they give you the syntax here so in the syntax it also has the options what they stand for like so this is very useful uh there's several other youtube videos out there that demonstrate kind of how hydra works and there's plenty to find on google so with this syntax you see here the c of the lowercase l and what this lowercase l is for is if you're going to use a single username such as admin or you have a username that you've recovered somehow from leaked credentials or you just discovered but you know it's a good username you can use lowercase l insert the username and then move on so the dash capital p that you see here they do a capital p if you're going to do a password list such as like rock you or one of the sec lists like the top 100 top 1000 passwords or if you have a password that you know is good but you have several usernames you want to do against that you can do a capital l with your list of usernames and then do a lowercase p with the password that you're trying to use against it kind of like password spray the next item up is going to be the ip address of uh, what you're attacking such as the website or ssh service t4 this is how many threads you're wanting to use this will depend on how fast you want to go and how much speed you're trying to get and then ssh is the type of service that you're attacking it could be ssh ftp so I will show you both the SSH attack as well as the web uh, interface that we were talking about kind of at the beginning of the video here. So we'll jump down. Also, <clears throat> when you're looking at these web forms, I'll show you this here in a second with the inspect element. But uh, you have to know if it's a post or if it's a git, like how it's sending the information to the server. So um, this is very useful if you're using uh, Burp Suite. It's really a really good tool to show you this. Um, command that's going across if it's asking for a get or like a post on the server side but you can also do that with your developer tools inside the web so we'll jump over to that real quick you can see i've already completed this box is i don't know probably a year or two ago i've done quite a bit on here but i know getting started early on hydra was a really useful tool for me and to be able to see stuff and actually get access to things and try hack me it's it's really neat getting your first box or your getting rude on your first machine is really exciting if you guys are just starting out so we're going to jump over and go to hydro challenge so you can do right click and inspect or you can also go up here to your little menu like your little hamburger icon up here in the corner you can do more tools and web developer tools this will pull this little area up down here but also like i said you can just do inspect and get to the same place by right clicking so in order to see what web, web response is sent as far as get or post, you're going to switch to network. You can see now there's nothing here. It's because the page is already loaded. But if you'll come up here and hit reload, it will start to pull information into the screen here where you see where it's the method is get. So we're going to go ahead and put in just a generic pass, username password. I'm just going to do admin and admin. Once I hit login, if you'll watch down here in this area, you'll see a post man come through for the method so we'll hit login okay you can see here see this post 
this is the file that's going for us. So we'll click on this. Don't want to say this word. Click on post. Then over here on the right, you're going to see headers, cookies, requests, response, timings, and you're going to see response headers. So this may look kind of confusing, especially if you're starting out. It really don't look just easy to tell, just origin where you sent from, where it was for, referred from. You'll learn more about this as your career goes on, the more you learn. So you're going to go up here and change your request headers to raw, this little tab right here, and click on that. So now that you can see that this is a post command that's been sent, or post method. So this is going to be helpful when we set up our command in Hydra to run for a script. So you want to see post here. So this is very important for your HTTP method that is used. Some websites do a get method. Others do post, but you have to know this if you want to run Hydra to see, because there's a spot you have to set up and you have to know post get. I'll show you that in just a second as well. Let's see, content length. You can also do this with Burp Suite. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video, but if you have any questions or comments, you can comment below. Maybe later in a future video, I'll show how to do this with Burp Suite or do a video just on Burp Suite. So I'm going to close this back out because I no longer need it. And then we'll open up a terminal. And let me do a new instance. Let's do it here. And this one. Right, so your syntax is going to be Hydra, which I have this saved to make it easier. I can just paste it in, then I'll kind of go over it with you. So. Okay, so we'll go through each one of these. So Hydra is the program we're using. The dash L is a list, so it's going to be the lowercase L. So we're going to use one named Molly. If you're wondering where I got Molly from, it is from here on TryHackMe's website. And you'll see brute force Molly's web password. So they give you the username, so that makes it a little easier. Um, if you didn't know a username and password, you can do a username list and a password list. And it will run it against each until you can discover a username and a, a valid password for it as well. It's just it's um, time consuming. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to speed it up and go with what they give us. So we're going to use Molly here. So we'll go back to terminal. All right, you see I have dash capital P. This passwords.txt is just a file that I made um, just kind of quick on the fly. Um, normally I would use rockyou.txt or Rock U2, the newer and better password list that's out there. But this one has, I think, about 150 passwords in it. This is the IP address of the website that we're attacking. If you'll look up here in the top, you'll see the IP address as well as the page it's on. So forward slash login. This comes into play in just a second. So let me go back to the terminal. On this one. Right, so when I was talking a minute ago about post or get form, what type of get method was used? HTTP request. If it was a get or post, this is where you're going to put this. This is to let Hydra know that is a post form that it's going to be looking for. And then you want to put the address where you're trying to attack, which is going to be quotation slash login. This here comes from up here. That's where we pull that from. And then this username, user, password, pass is going to come from, you do inspect element. And, and inspect here. You can see here, name has username, placeholder equals username required. And you see password, type is password, name equals password, placeholder is password. So when you go back to your terminal, you see we have username equals user, password equals pass. The user and pass is just for Hydra to know where it is to insert the credentials that you give, such as Molly, and then like the password list. Next in this syntax is F, which F is going to be for failure. So where does this fail? Which you can see at the yeah F. So where it shows it's incorrect. So every website that you have is different, um, being whatever it tells you, like, you know, it's 
wrong username, wrong password, this account does not exist, something along those lines, you're going to get a failed message if you can't log in. So if you see here, I have your username or password is incorrect with a period inside this quotation. So this come from right here. Your username or password is incorrect. This is not just something I made up. It's just after we tried admin, admin, and we failed, it's telling us here's the error. So you take this error syntax and you plug it into this elf equals inside the quotation. And this password txt just ended up on the end. This dash v is for verbose. And what verbose means is you can see as it's running through the list, you can see it try every password against the username that you provide to it. Um, just kind of a word of caution before I hit enter on this, there is some kind of file language that's in the password list. Uh, just want to give you a warning that you will see uh, maybe a cuss word or words that aren't appropriate, but that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Some people use bad passwords like that. So once you have this typed in, just going to hit enter. It's going to start running through, and you'll see the password it's trying. If you'll notice, the login name still says Molly. It's because it tried Molly on every one of them. And then passwords is every password that it tried as well. You can see here that we've got a login of Molly. The password is Sunshine. So the answer is going to be, like the valid login is going to be in green, just to kind of draw your attention to it. So and you'll see one valid password found. So once we have this, we can jump back over. We can do Molly. I can close this network and need it now. And then the password that we got, which was sunshine. So you can do sunshine. Sunshine. Hit login. Now I'm say, and here's the flag from Trihack Me that you would put in uh, here. If you're happening to be doing this, hide your room on Trihack Me. Okay. Let's go back. So now that we have Molly and her password, let's try an SSH login with that account. So we'll go back and I'll do a new instance of Cali. I'm going to do Hydra, or let's just do like we're trying to log in. So let's do Molly at 10.10.135.79. And SSH. Um, SSH. I put SSH first, so we back that up. That way it knows what service to attempt. And sure, you want to continue? Yes. Okay, now it's going to ask for Molly's password. So the one we found was Sunshine. Okay, so permission denied. Please try again. So sometimes this happens, you can mistype the password or they use a separate password for the website and they have another password for SSH, which is secure shell. In this situation, it's a different password that Molly has used. So, but we can also use Hydra to brute force that as well. So we're just going to get out of this. Once it says we, uh, okay. So we're going to run Hydra one more time. I have this already built in here. And like I said, this is the password list that I made kind of quick, just so sake of the video. Kind of the same setup. You're going to use Hydra, dash L, which is lowercase, just because we're using the name Molly. Dash capital P. This is my password list that I made. This is the IP address. T4 and SSH is what we're attacking. And again, this is threads. Just to increase the speed. SSH is the service that we're attacking. Uh, to see if a service has this open, you could run Nmap against it and see which ports open. It's going to be port 22 to see if SSH is open. And you could try to attack that using Hydra. Once we have this, we're just going to hit enter. It's going to run through. I didn't run verbose on this, so you're not going to see all the names pop up in the background. But once it finds it, it's going to pop up in green the same way it did with running against the web server. So shouldn't take but just a second longer, and we should have it. And you're going to see here this dash 20, this colon 22, this is telling us it's attacking port 22. Like I said this video this password list is about 155 passwords so I think it's just a little bit of time but not too awful long 
Alright guys, and as you can see, once this comes back, it found login name is Molly, which we also provide, and then password is Butterfly. So now that we have this, we should be able to SSH into this machine as Molly. So we're just going to do SSH Molly at that IP address that we were using. We're going to prompt for password, and we're going to do Butterfly. And once you can see here, we are Molly at this IP address. So once you have this guys, you're in, you can use LS to list out any contents and you'll see there your flag two. You can do cat and flag two dot txt, enter. That's gonna give you your flag for, try hack me for the second question, which would be this box here. Use Hydra brute force, Molly's SSH password, what is flag two? Yeah, guys, so with that, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps you to get kind of started into Hydra and showcase a little bit of try hack me. Uh, like I said, it's one of my biggest suggestions go to try hack me or even hack the box and put some time in there they even have a lot of rooms that are free to use all you do is sign in with an email but thanks for watching see you guys next time